Alright, hello and welcome. It is Friday night, and that means it's time for some more zombie slaughtering action. And today we might actually be able to get to uh, a story mission or something, huh? Maybe? Wouldn't that be nice? So we're at the fishing village for some reason. It's covered in zombies. 300 meters to gas mask, man. That probably isn't the quest we want to do, huh? Let's see, we don't have any skill points right now. We gotta be careful not to die or else we're gonna lose some of those uh, points. I don't know. I guess we could try it. 600 meters. And of course they spawned us out in the middle of freaking nowhere, huh? I feel like there should be a stamina bar or something if you actually do run out of running stamina. All you get is like kind of this like huffing and puffing from main character here. <laughs> for some reason, but I'm not going to complain. Almost. There we go. Uh, possible useful stuff. Ooh, this is right here, huh? Ooh, I made it before anybody else got here. I mean, I am not complaining, huh? As long as I don't make any noise. Oh, a car with a trunk that I can actually open. How about that? 500 meters. I gotta try to get up higher. A spitter somewhere. Towers, actually. So let's make use of that. Whew. Climb the wall. Okay. Here we go. We'll drop these off. Oh man, this means we can survive for the next couple of days at least. Thank you so much. Seven thousand. It's not bad. Check the shop. Come here. I've got a special deal for you. Yeah, I'll bet. Get rid of that. Commando knife, huh? Eventually, right? Eventually. Let's. 
won't find better deals in all of Haran. How much ammo do I have? If any. You won't find better stuff anywhere else. I thought I had some ammunition actually, but I guess I don't. Oh, that's very strange. Well, okay. Then it doesn't make sense to take the um, rifle along if we're not going to be able to use it. So. Three hundred and fifty meters from here. Dang it. That platform is so narrow that you can just kind of run over it, basically. Viral. Done. See, now virals aren't nearly as bad. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Fifty meters. <clears throat> oh, there's some goodies in here. That's the wrong button. There we go. Spitter. Oof, he got me anyway. How many bandits are inside? I only saw the ones that went in after Tahir, but I'm sure there's more. We should use different entrances. We'll cover more ground, and we'll make less noise moving separately. Oh, come on, really? Nope. Another dead end. Building on the roof. Wait, there's a police car here. Can I get in? Oh, he's up there. I got in. Sickle? Okay, I gotta get up top now. Again. I can't climb it? Some of these are climbable and some of them are not. I don't know how to tell the difference between them. Fun. 
two spitters. Really game. Oh, and Exploder! healing after that. That's the two big guys. Okay, so they're like bombs. Great. How about here? Okay, I'm in. Jeez. He ain't getting around. Okay, I locked the door behind me, or at least closed it. I'll at least know if they break in that door. But hopefully I can just kind of lay low. Now, if I remember correctly, this is a... to here at the school. Hmm. He and his men were hauling all kinds of stuff out of there. The hell are they up to? Anyway, the fucker executed some survivors right in front of us. Nearly saw us. Time to sneak into that building. I hope there's some antis in there somewhere. Okay, Jade, I'm inside. Check the classrooms. That's the most likely place for them to store supplies. Okay. They should be marked somehow. Military jargon is pretty straightforward, so it shouldn't be hard to notice. I guess we're just gonna kind of hope that well, we've got good stuff here. Now we've seen before that the stealth system in this game is not great. Feel like opening that one up. Although I might have to. Some string. More string. Hold on. There's that. A couple more burning throwing stars is probably good for us. And some firecrackers, maybe. Okay. Let's try this. There's a lot of zombies kicking around in here, and I do not like it at all. It's the biology room. I don't have any really good ranged weapons, so... I'm kind of stuck with throwing stars. Unless I can find some weapons. So we really gotta run stealth style here, even though I'm not good at it. Can't get through that way. Check the 
I guess we're gonna have nightfall? I didn't even think of that. Body bags. This is going to be one of those missions that I don't even know where it's going to put me. Okay, that worked. He, he lost a head. He, he can't do that. Give me that sickle. Easy enough to take him out when that happens. <clears throat> so they're not armed with ranged weapons, which I guess works for me. We're not playing stealth anymore, I guess. Zombos. Finishing move. Enjoy, guys. are quite good at dealing with uh, anything in here good let's dismantle this one beef cleaver premium throwing stars
What do you mean my inventory is full? I just... I guess I got throwing stars. Garb. Alright, let's, uh, let's dismantle another club hammer. Oh, and, and, and. See this gas pipe? That's garbage. We're dismantling that. Okay, now we're talking. I can grab a couple of beef cleavers. I can look for antizen. This looks promising. Jade, no luck with any antizen. Looks like we'll have to talk about that other option. I still have classroom C to search, though. The basement's pretty big. Find the key. I'll meet you down there. Okay, so no antizen up here. Find keys to the basement. Seven dollars. Energy bar. Basement keys. Okay, we gotta go this way. Wait, did I? Does this not open? Okay. I apparently moved a thing to for no reason. But I guess I'm okay with that. Wait, this just lets me... Oh, dang it. <laughs> Can I not unblock that? Oh. It's just that easy? Finish zombos. Night is coming. Not much I can do about that. Alright. Well, on the plus side, the sickle gives a very positive, like, what would you call it? Indication that you've killed the zombie? The head comes off. Oh god. Ow. Keys. Door. Closed door behind me. Thank you. 
We have some very angry zombies around here. And a cutscene. Close the door behind you. Oh, that's Jade. Give me a hand here, would you? Yeah, uh, sure. God, Crane, you're such an oaf. Why don't you just stick your head out the door and shout, Here we are, come get us! Hey, sometimes there's nothing wrong with a direct approach. Holy shit. That's... That's not Antizen. Plastic explosives, right? Yeah. Listen, you take this stuff and get back to the tower. I'll deal with these assholes. Don't be ridiculous. We'll fight them together. And risk letting them keep this much ordinance? No, just go. I got this. Meet me back at the tower. Come on. Promise me you won't let Rahim near that high. What? Yeah, of course. I promise. I promise. Just go. Okay, we've got... Whoa, I'm gonna die again. I'm just about dead. He's done. Rise's thugs eliminated. Leave the school. Hold F to leave the school. Shit. Jade and I went looking for Antizen and found explosives instead. Now we need to get the hell out of here before Tahir comes back. Indeed. At least he doesn't attack me. I'm okay with that. Where's the nearest safe house? Crane, you said we needed to talk about other options if we didn't find any Atherton. And we will, but right now let's deal with these explosives, okay? Okay, listen. I'll give the explosives to Saeed and you talk to Rahim. Make sure he stays away from that hive. Oh, I'm we'll caught. Do it. Don't worry. Don't worry? Right. Oh. Ouch. You're supposed to get a friggin' uh Whatchamacallit, but apparently not. Oof. Pursuit evaded. Not too many points, but better than nothing, and I didn't get killed. What's my current skill thing going on? Eh, not great. Where's the rest spot up here? Up here? Yeah, up here. In here. Extra survivor points. Oh, so you get extra survivor points for running around at night. Not just regular points, but extra survivor points. Okay. I guess I'll take it. Where am I headed now? Holy year tunnel. Headed back to the main tower, I guess? That way. Ow. Already taking damage. No, stay on the thing. Thank you. The less attention I get, the better, right? 
Oh, except for this guy. Enjoy, guys. No worse for wear. I can't imagine what those bastards would have done to us. I'm just grateful I'm still alive. Hey, you gave me a fencer and some points. I'll take it. Okay. I should drop off extra items. Stuff I'm not using, right? Cleaver, sickle, sickle. Club hammer. Premium throwing stars. There we go. Sakes, guys. Did I save him technically? What happened there? I'm not even sure. No, don't duck under it. What the death? Oh, they're starting to spawn the big red guys. In like regular areas now. Oh, come on, really? Okay. So far, so good. We can sell the valuables and get some cash. Yeah. Got a special deal for you. Remarkable heavy hewing axe. Yeah, kind of garbage. That's fine. I guess we gotta meet Jade back at the tower. Now I can receive transmissions from all the districts. Oh, well, good for you, dude. Jade called me. She's taking the explosives to Saeed. She wanted me to talk to Rahim about the volatile hive and how she wants him to stay the hell away from it. <laughs> what was that? Hey, my friend, how are things going? I'm fine. Okay, we gotta go upstairs. Maybe even more upstairs. Crane, Saeed told me about the explosives you guys found. How perfect is that? Jade gave them to him. Saeed used to be on a bomb squad, so he knows about that stuff. Yeah, kid, that was a lucky find. Would've been better to turn up some antis in, though. My buddy Omar is making sure Saeed's putting good timers on those things. We have to be able to get our asses out of there before they blow. Whoa, we? 
There, there's no we in this. I, I mean, yeah, that nest needs to go. Now it's possible, but, but if it gets done, I'm doing it on my own. But it's my plan. And I will execute it perfectly, I promise. But... Ah, oh, shit. There's no use arguing with you, is there? Fine. I'll contact you as soon as Saeed's finished with the charges. Raheem, do we have a deal? I guess. Do we have a deal? Yes. We have a deal. Okay, one more thing. I keep seeing this bizarre kind of infected. Is Dr. Zera out at his trailer? I'd like to talk to him about it. Nah, he's down in sick bay visiting Dr. Lena. Thanks, kid. I'll see you soon. Yay, leveled up! Rank up. All right. That gives us what we want, finally. Which is this. Camouflage. Camouflage is one of the best skills in the game. And you'll see why in a moment. Oh, wrong way. Hey, a battle journal. It's hey, Doc, you got a minute? Oh, it's, uh, Kane. Yes. Uh, how can I help you? A crane. Remember when I told you about that weird infected I saw? You know, the one who took one look at me and hauled ass away? Yeah, well, I just saw another one, and it did the same thing. Mm hmm. I believe I have heard your colleagues talk about those creatures. Bolters, they call them. Apparently, they favor certain areas of town over others, but only appear at night. I don't suppose you could catch one and bring me a sample of its flesh. You see, a thought occurred to me. A long shot, I realize. But if these creatures favor areas where I left my experimental bait, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Please do obtain a sample, but it has to be fresh. So you have to get it back to me quickly. Okay, and where exactly do I find these things? I'm told that quartermaster chap has been keeping track of them. Okay. Oh, and it, I guess we've unlocked new side quests, too. Check this out. Seems there's some survivors at the bazaar, and the witch is one of them. Guess if anyone's gonna bullshit their way to safety, it's gonna be Dahlia, right? <laughs> Did you say she's a witch? She says she's a witch. She claims the infected won't even touch her because of her voodoo hocus pocus. They say she walked clean across the city without getting touched at night. Maybe she knows something we don't. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe she's just completely full of shit. Also a possibility. I saw some people in this school. Got to wonder what they were doing there. They, they were they were schooling. Okay, so now we have ooh, this is our first time seeing this in the in the, in the store, yeah. First off, My blueprint for arrows. Second off, bows. Uh, second off, third off, we maybe sell some stuff. A couple of those. I guess there's enough to buy some arrows. And we're out. Prices are more than fair. More than fair, he says. $450 for... How many arrows did I get? I didn't get any arrows. What? Didn't I get arrows? Yeah. Wait, why is ammo there now? It wasn't there earlier, I swear. Okay, 15 regular arrows for $450. Bucks. It's not crazy. But now we have a bow, which is a good long-range weapon. And so we can head back down to ground level. Zera asked me to bring him a sample from that bolter I saw in front of the school. He said they'd been spotted in specific areas of the city, so I should focus my search in those places. He also said I needed to get that sample back to him while it was still fresh. 
So I gotta move. So I gotta move. This isn't the sibling's quest, is it? I guess it could be. Yeah, it is. Much easier Weird. to communicate over radio. Have you noticed? Blueprints. I can make 19 arrows. They take metal parts and nails, which is not too bad. Um, but I have 15 because I bought some. Let's talk to Quartermaster. What can I do for you? Doc Zera says you know where I should look for these uh, bolters. Super fast infected, covered in big green blisters. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can point you in the right direction. Here, here, and here. Though you ask me, if trouble don't come looking for you, no reason to go looking for trouble. <laughs> Words to live by, thanks. Wow. The scouts have seen people entering the school. Something's going on there. The school again, huh? How about over here? No? Not you, apparently. Oh, there's a crayons for the kids. I mean, there's no reason not to take the quests, right? Electronic parts. The radio signal is stronger than ever before. I need a bunch of electronic parts, as many parts as you can find. Bring them to Toygar. Rahim's electronic parts. <laughs> Don't expect the radios to work any better. The truth is, Rahim is trying to build a robot runner. He gets these crazy ideas in his head. I'll take the blueprint, thank you. Um... Walkie talkies work much better. I wonder what happened. Story mode level. Okay, this is an easy one. Fine crayons. Zero out of five. And they're gonna be outdoors, of course. Come here. I've got a special deal for you. Yeah, yeah. I spent all my cash. That's okay, I guess. I'll always, I can always get more. Stuff anywhere put else. that away. Put that away. That should do it. Radio signals are stronger now. Five crayons, huh? Bolters appear at night, can be found at their feeding grounds marked on the map. If you hunt for them, be careful. They're easy to scare and they run fast. Their feeding grounds are usually protected by volatiles. Use firecrackers to distract the volatiles. Okay. Great, you there? Yeah, hey, what's up, Spike? Just FYI, if you need me, I'll be at the ferry station helping Morgan prep the barge. No! <laughs> okay, here's the trick. V, use camouflage. It takes a couple of seconds, but then you're like this and the zombies don't even notice you. And it works pretty well. <laughs> Medium lock picking. Starting to drop better weaponry for us, too. Let's find some crayons. Two hundred fifty meter run for crayons. Wonderful. Okay, 
camouflage. He doesn't enjoy it. Hey, it's Crane, right? Yes, it is. Want some valuable info? What are you talking about? Listen, I'm a civil engineer. I was working out of a firm in Old Town, Sector Zero, I guess people are calling it now. And you know what we spent all our time on? The sewers. Now that sounds thrilling. Hey, now, there's no need to be sarcastic. Orion's sewer system is a thing of beauty, if you've got the right eye for it anyway. Uh-huh. You know who should have the right eye for it? You. If you got a point, now would be a good time to get to it. Patient, huh? Can't wait to get out there and kill some zombies, huh? They go everywhere under the city. You name a location, we've got a sewer line running about five or ten meters below the surface. See, we were able to tie them into a bunch of existing caverns. Waste not what not, am I right? They spread out under Haran in every direction. Most of them, much larger than standard sewer lines, too. Makes navigating around them in a snap. Yeah, they sound like a great place for zombies to congregate, too. Well, no system is perfect, is it? Is that it? Whatever, buddy. Probably gonna need Molotovs. Yep. Back away. He's no. Too? See, the enemies level up and you don't. It's very irritating. This is Crane. Is that you, Tolga? Uh, he wants to talk to us. Well, I don't want to talk to him. I repeat, you are ordered to come immediately. That is all. Shut off the radio! Right! The whole joke with them is them being less, much less smart than they actually claim to be. And I get it. But at the same time, it does seem to get a little old, doesn't it? Should I repair this? It is my crappiest weapon. Okay, I gotta get back up into the school again. Of course. Subsonic. <laughs> Have 
to get into the school again. Dang it! I'm totally... I, I did it first try last time. There we go. Now that it's not a story mission, there's not so many um, special zombies in here. Which I'm in favor of. We can re-grab some goodies. Nope. There we go. Close. There we go. Inventory full. Brute. Check my inventory. The brass knife can be dismantled. The iron crowbar's pretty good. Tip cleaver's good. Beef cleaver's less good. Simple hatchet. The handling is really good. Yeah, it's fine. Beef cleaver. Oh, it won't let me in here again? That's annoying. Oh, now this is open. That is not open. me to go up, but it's not telling me how much to go up. Praise. What? I can't hurt them. Here it comes. Safe zone. We must avoid technical terms. Keep the concept simple. Yes, uh, we don't want to break in. Should we smile? To what purpose? Looking ridiculous. What do you got? I just want to talk. Try listening. <laughs> the first bullet goes over your head. The next one goes through it. Stop it, Edward. You don't want to scare off someone who might be willing to help us. We don't know this arsehole from a plate of falafel. Don't argue with me. Let him in. Seems Errol wants to talk to you. There won't be any trouble. Do I look worried? I'm scared <laughs> to death. He's perceptive. Come in, come in. I'm Errol. Kyle Crane. This is my niece, Salier, and her son, Aaron. Do forgive Edward, but he's completely right to be worried. We are being pursued by some very ruthless men. There's something oddly familiar about you. There should be. The campaign spent a lot of money putting my face all over town. Of course, you're Errol Asani, governor of the province. Governor of nothing, but Rise has decided that any political figure is a threat to him. So he's ordered my execution. They nearly killed me once already. That's how I lost my leg. And it seems they haven't given up. A squad of his thugs has tracked me to my last safe house in the slabs. Edward was just there. He says they're searching the area. It's only a matter of time before they show up here. Oh, sounds like you got quite a problem. I would pay you very well to resolve it. Hey, you know, people say that a lot to me. Trust me. What I can offer you can't be found anywhere else. At any price. And I'll think about it. Okay. Well, we've got another quest. A note. Crayons. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Collected all crayons.
Alright, then I need to give crayons to Kate. Oh, there's actually multiple people over here. These guys, too. Hey, boys. What are we into this time? Do you understand what a battery is? Tall guy, you're overwhelming him. <laughs> Inside the engine compartment of a bus is a heavy rectangle. I know what a battery is. Okay. We need bus batteries with marine grade plates and rated at 1300 CCA or better. CCA means cold cranking amps. Obviously. That's a pretty big battery. Yes, easily 50 to 55 kilograms each. That's equal to uh, several large rocks. He's American. The metric system makes him angry. We will need three of them. Oh, <laughs> you can use your brute strength. We know you primitives are keen to show how strong you are, to demonstrate physical prowess. You think it will attract females? Ugly and stupid, what else does he have? Oh, how does he live like that? Who knows? You have your instructions. Go do your, uh, interpretation of them. <laughs> I kinda, I kinda love the... <laughs> Like, they're jerks, but at the same time, I can't help but be like, these guys are great. <laughs> the writing for them is just really, uh, on, on point. Three hundred and forty meters to get these crayons back home. They got some spitters running around. Zombies from. Uh, it allows me to throw off their trail, basically. As long as I don't attack. Of course, virals always know where you are for some reason. Ragdoll. Wait for the prompt. survive for the next couple of days at least. Thank you so much. Give me the goodies. I don't care about the bony knife. Unfortunately, his stuff never seems to improve. The little ones are starting to get bored. Gotta give the camp crayons to Kate upstairs. Hello. You found some crayons. Oh, fantastic. You're the best. The kids are gonna lose their minds. But in a good way. Here, take this. You'll make better use of it than I will. 
points. Cash. Twelve hundred dollars for five boxes of crayons. It's not bad. Rec room. Stronger than ever before. Oh, you're not in the behind the. Okay. Heavy Balawa. Damage 154. How are you doing? I can sell valuables. Side, isn't it? Um. The simple hatchet is probably good to get rid of. Um. In fact, it looks like it might be time to just kind of get rid of some of our old stuff. Want a deal? Like, this is kind of garbage, so I trash it. This is not garbage, so I don't hey, trash it. My friend, how are things going? Let's see. The weakest beef cleaver gets trashed. In fact, the weakest two beef cleavers get trashed. Um. Hard to decide, isn't it? I have a bunch of upgrades too. Oh, what do you have to buy? Nothing that Welcome. I want. The brass knife is not particularly good. Yeah, you'll notice that the bow has a firepower of 240, which is really good. Plus, you can, you know, oh, it's stealthy and you can headshot with it. Look at the handling on the heavy Balawa, though. 29. That's garbage. How's it going, buddy? Only slightly better than a heavy uh, sledgehammer. Alright, fine. Fair enough. Assault and batteries. You know what we didn't do recently? It, or you need something? Who, who's talking to me? Not you. Not you. Not you. From other parts of the city. Uh, if I. There's a thing there, yeah? So if I head south... goodies here. That's empty, surprisingly. <laughs> viral? Yep, viral. People started believing in the angels now. If they're wait, the don't you worry. As long as we're here, keeping eye on everything, no one will get through. There was totally an exclamation point here a minute ago. <clears throat> Out of the sewers. But I don't hear any more coming right now. Check my quests. 
That's a really tough seeming quest, huh? Head to the slabs. Do I have enough? Can I make some Molotovs? I can. Light and throw, huh? Sounds good to me. The filthy blade. Bleeding and toxic. Pocket lighter. Yeah, we need like household supplies and aerosols for that. meters. Quite a ways, actually. No, climb the... Pouch. A carving hammer. I don't know what that is. Did he say please? Oh god. Guys, come on. Flash. See, they cool off immediately. Now it doesn't last long. Oh, look at that. It's right there. It's 
like right on my way too. safe house over here. No, not in the bus. For God's sake, don't go in the bus. Safe zone. 161 meters that way still. Let's see. Blueprints? Electricity. Medium electric. Medium bleeding. They both are dependent on the carving hammer. Yeah, all right. Do it. Um, what else? I guess we can make one lockpick set. And that should do it. Let's see what dude fell over here has to sell. Is he in the, he's in here. Sell valuables. Yeah, I can start selling the cheapest garbage that I have. Anything you need, I got it right here. Do you not sell anything other than that? No? Nothing? Okay. Let's do some modifications. What's my weakest weapon? The constable here? I can upgrade it. Or, you know, I could just, I could just dismantle it. I have tons of weapons. And there's no point in spending a bunch of time on crappy weapons, yeah? Ninety-two, ninety-three. We'll go ninety-two. I can stash the other ones. That beef cleaver and that iron crowbar. Then uh, we can do upgrades. F six for some reason. Brawler's good. But we should probably use the cheaper ones first, right? Like, that's just one to durability. That's kind of garbage. That one... Just two, two... Sure, Crusader sounds good. And, uh... Tipped Cleaver... We can give it the brawler. It's pretty good. No. Confirm. And good. Alright. Let's see. Anything else? F7 for crafting. 
Yeah, nothing I can really do there. Alright, fair enough. So, I think let's call it here for today. We're going to work on that slabs mission next time. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. We'll pick this back up a week from today, as usual. Uh, let's see. Monday, we've got some more Day of the Tentacle, which is fun and funny. Old school, old school puzzle game. Wednesday, we've got Legend of Grimrock 2, which is always fun. Uh, and then over on the YouTube channel, I've got, uh, what do you call it? Final Fantasy X, no commentary run, and Labyrinth of Toho. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, if any of that sounds good, feel free to go, t feel free to go take a look. And, uh, yeah, hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And I'll see you later.